Sterling and Casey, it's been an honor working on Papa's house. Are you guys ready to see your fixer upper? We're yes, ready. Ma'am. Let's do it. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Y'all are crazy amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Fixer Upper is the show that brought a boom in the homemaking industry. And suddenly, everyone was paying more attention to renovating their home according to certain themes. Now, one of the experts of home improvement on Fixer Upper was Joanna Gaines, who made the art seem so simple that anyone could do it. And that's probably what sparked the interest of so many people in home renovation. She soon became a huge deal in the industry and started a brand called Magnolia that turned into a proper lifestyle brand and her furnishing products started selling like hotcakes. But it's been so long since anyone's heard from her and people are actually concerned about what really happened to Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper. So, let's find it all out. I bet you can't even do three cartwheels. Cartwheels? I bet I can do four. Four, let's see it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. It won't be wrong to say that Joanna was living a true American dream because her mother was an immigrant from Korea and met her father when he was deployed in Seoul during his army days. Even after Joanna was born, her family used to constantly move from one place to another so she had vast knowledge about all the different cultures and their art. The family soon settled in Texas but the initial years of her school weren't easy for Joanna. She revealed that the other kids used to bully her because she was the only Asian American in the entire school and that resulted in her confidence taking a serious hit. But she decided to never let these things bring her down and ended up becoming the homecoming queen in school. Soon, Joanna went for college and graduated in communication but she was always interested in setting up homes and renovations. She used to change the furniture and setting of her own room ever so often. Her first interaction with the TV was when she was doing an internship in her senior year and had the chance to witness Dan Rather hosting his show. But before she could pick any career path, Joanna met Chip Gaines. He was a really handsome gentleman and the two instantly felt a connection. They went on a couple of dates and knew what they had was special, so they decided to make it last and soon got engaged. And in 2003, they even got married. Luckily for Joanna, her husband didn't have a 9 to 5 job and instead he used to flip houses for a living. She found it really interesting to turn a lifeless and boring house into something so aesthetic that the buyers agree on paying anything just to live there. Chip Gaines was already experienced in renovating the house and Joanna used to visit him and gave him helpful insights. So they decided to join hands and Joanna started managing the decorations of the houses. She wasn't trained or anything for it, but she did a really good job and they were getting a lot of money from their business too. They decided to invest some of their money in a startup where they sell home improvement goods. This is how Magnolia Market came into being. They came up with the name of the brand due to an incident where Chip climbed up a magnolia tree just to meet Joanna. They started the shop, but things weren't going as well as they probably had planned. They were struggling to keep things intact in the shop. Joanna was desperate for some marketing and promotion of their home improvement shop, so she started a blog where she regularly wrote about renovation and decorations. And this probably was the turning point of her life. She continued writing her blogs when suddenly a TV producer came across her blog and saw her knowledge in the matters of home renovation. They decided to contact Joanna and see if they could put her knowledge to good use and turn it into a reality show. They asked Joanna to make a short video of herself talking about furniture and stuff and she did just that. The producers loved the short clip and decided to move forward with the show. The show was first aired in 2013 and it instantly became a huge hit. People started watching and learning from the show which ended up giving birth to this massive trend of home renovations and flipping. The show was also famous because of the constant banter of the couple as Joanna liked to be a little more low-key while Chip was often very aggressive so they had a lot of arguments and family drama which the viewers loved to see. Joanna's style also became really popular where she used to focus more on the neutrals and added a pop of colour to the overall rooms. It's exactly the style that's really in these days and we see it in almost all the celebrity homes. 
The couple got so popular from the show and got the kind of money that they bought a huge property and made a restaurant, bakery, shop, church, and a couple more rental places on it. It was all so beautiful that it became a really famous tourist attraction and the Gaines were getting a whole lot of money from it. They even started their own furniture collection and launched a journal that was all about home improvement and renovation. They even collaborated with Target, so Joanna was becoming a huge celebrity with every passing day. They've since started a cooking show and even a television channel called Magnolia Network that's all about repairing, home improvement, DIYs and gardening. They've also made several spin-off shows of Fixer Upper, and Joanna has even published a couple of books about home improvement and children. The show was on top and everyone was raving about it. Besides, they made waves in the world of ratings too, but Joanna Chips decided to leave the show in the middle, just after they shot five whole seasons. There was a lot of room for more seasons, and the creators probably wanted to continue Upper Fixer, but Joanna didn't want it. It was the best place where they could promote their brand and also get new deals, but they let the opportunity slip because they had a very valid reason. Joanna revealed that they've been filming the show for years now, but they've reached a point where they're questioning their creativity now, and they're saying that why are they even doing it in the first place? Their brand and channel are both doing really well, so they don't really need to give it more of their time to fix her upper as their routine started to get very jam-packed. Besides, it was even affecting their personal life, as Joanna and Chip both were giving a lot of their time to both the brand and the show, and with the channel in making, they knew that they wouldn't be able to manage it all alone. Joanna also revealed that she had some pretty big plans for the future, and if everything goes right, they're going to come up with something even bigger than Fixer Upper. But there are also reports that Joanna and Chip were clashing with the show creators for quite a while before they decided to call it quits and leave the show. The reason for this clash reportedly was that Joanna and her husband wanted to add products from their own brand to the show for promotions, but the creators didn't want Fixer Upper to turn into some marketing ramble, so they refused to let that happen and the couple made their decision of leaving the show. Although they didn't reveal the reason publicly and just said they were having a very hectic routine and that's why they're not going to be a part of Fixer Upper anymore, a lot of the fans already knew what this meant. There were also talks of a very violent encounter between the creators and Chip, but these are just reports and nothing has been confirmed from Chip or Joanna themselves. According to other reports, the couple has even reached out to another TV channel for a proposal of a show on the same Fixer Upper format, and if they don't get a good deal, they'll probably run it on their own channel, which doesn't sound like such a bad idea. So, if Joanna really wanted to give more time to her family, and that's why she left Fixer Upper, then why is the couple trying to find ways to get another reality show? It surely seems like some drama happened between the creators and the stars of Fixer Upper that resulted in such a huge fallout. Reports also state that Joanna used a lot of products from her own furniture brand and she was hell-bent on showing the labels on TV and that would have been really unethical as they never signed any deal of partnership or anything of this sort. The representatives of Joanna continue to claim that the couple have only gone off the grid because they need some time to rest and get their creative juices flowing as they've been working for way too long now. They also want to focus on their family as their son is moving away for college now and they want to savour every moment with their youngest child.